She was standing in front of me, golden hair and a red hairband with a blue and white dress, beautiful like the other dolls. She whispered in my ear in the most sickening voice I have ever heard. I will see you in doll court. And then the doll ran off. What? But as I said that, the dolls did something strange. They sprang off the conveyor belt, one by one, and started tying me up, tighter and tighter, until I could barely breathe. I struggled, but that only made them angrier and more vicious, lashing at me with whips of divine light. All that whip, the lashes, it was all so painful. The lashes were huge, swelled up, spewing out blood onto my arms on the rope. I struggled more, more lashes of blood spilled out. Finally, weak from air, the prevalent pain, I refused to struggle anymore. The dolls dragged me into a corpse-like room, dolls everywhere all staring at me. Their eyes pierced into me as if they were staring into my soul. The lead doll said in a demonic-like voice, We brought the one you requested, mistress. She stared at the doll, looking sad with those shiny blue eyes. Excellent, now sit. The courts shall begin in a short time. The doll sat down, giving me the dirtiest of looks. The girl walked up to me and said, Ah, Kyle, how nice of you to join us. Do you know why you are here? I looked up at her in pain and fear and I said No ma'am, why am I here? And what is this place? Who are you? She grinned an evil grin I am Alice Leader of the Dolls and the Prescutator. This is the Doll Court, a sacred place for persecutions of people and dolls. You are here because of the way you make dolls. They are not perfect, not like me. I look at all the dolls and notice all of them. They each have a feature of hair. A Japanese doll with her golden hair. An Asian doll with her blue eyes. An American doll with her blue laced dress. Let's get to business, shall we? So Kyle, you make dolls. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Very well. That is good. Do you make them like me? No. She wrote more stuff on her pad and said, Okay. And why is that? because you never showed up until now. She then threw a glowing orb at me and yelled, UNACCEPTABLE! YOU MUST MAKE THE DOLLS LIKE ME! YOU ARE WORTHLESS TO DISGRACE TO THE DOLL MAKERS! I SENTENCE YOU TO A SLOW AND PAINFUL, HORRIBLE, GRUESOME DEATH! The dolls got up and walked over to me. They hastily brought out the whips and pulled me into the secret room. They took turns whipping me with the divine light and glowing orbs. The blood in my body started pouring out, with each hit growing in pain. The less blood I had. After about five minutes, 
They dragged out knives and stabbed my heart. My body shrunk from the blood loss and they continued to stab my heart as well as my brain. And about two minutes later, I only had a print of blood left. I groaned and whined. Then the head doll got up, pulling out a catena, and she stabbed it through me. I let out one final breath and died. You do not want to go into the doll core.